Hey, you know the drill. When you compare, you lead to despair. Comparison, as Teddy Roosevelt so famously said, is the thief of joy, but it does not have to steal your joy or your confidence anymore. Let's talk today about how to never let comparison steal your confidence again. I'm Trish Blackwell, your confidence coach. Let's talk about freeing this area of your life. Look, whether you struggle with comparing on social media, comparing popularity, comparing your hairstyle, comparing your body type, comparing your finances, comparing, 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 what it does is it leads to a lack of abundance. It makes you feel like you're in constant competition and that you have to one up people or you have to prove yourself. And I can tell you as a confidence coach, the more pressure you put on yourself to prove yourself, the more insecure you will be at your core because confidence comes when you know that you are enough. You know that you belong. You have nothing to prove and nothing to lose. So let's, in this video, I'm going to give you some ways to really stop comparison and why Christians don't need to compare, how to break comparative thoughts. Let's dive in even deeper. Okay, so why do we compare in the first place? Even though you know you're not supposed to, why do we keep doing it? Well, we believe we're in competition. We believe that we have to be better than other people or that there's this ranking system. Guess what? There's not. There's not. All you are in competition with is to be the best version of yourself. So just be, just be you. The second thing is that we convince ourselves that we need to prove ourselves. There's nothing you need to prove to be enough. God created you. He said you're worthy and to be his child. And therefore that is enough. Uh, that, is, that is the gift of Christ giving us access to God. We become God's children. The other reason is we live in scarcity. We think there's not enough to go around or that we, we have to really stand out to be special or loved. And the other reason we compare and despair is that we think we want what everyone else has. But here's the deal. When you, when you feel that jealousy come on, do you, it's important to ask yourself, do I even want that? Is that even something that I want? Most of the time we don't actually know what we want. You got to know what you want to really focus in and get freedom from the comparison. And guys, the other reason we compare is we're comparing where we are in, on our journey to where somebody else is on our journey. And maybe we have similar journeys, but they might've started months, de years, decades ahead of you. Do not compare your behind the scenes to somebody's highlight reel. And now just for a moment, I wanna take a moment and talk to my faith people. Here's the thing, especially as a Christian, if you believe in Jesus Christ, there is no need to compare ever in your life because of a couple things. God's love is secure. There is nothing you can do to change it. That means there's nothing you can do to make him love you more. And there's nothing you can do to make him love you less. His love is the same. We also have nothing to lose and nothing to prove because you are secure in God. The Holy Spirit does the deep work in our lives. This is good news. I, for so many years, thought I needed to change myself. And there are certain areas of discipline where I needed to show up, absolutely. Where I needed to be faithful, I needed to have obedience, and I needed to pay attention to take my thoughts captive. But some of the deeper work that happens is not on me. It's on the Holy Spirit transforming my heart, transforming my life, and transforming my mind. I'm showing up and he's completing the good work he has started in me and also in you. And you are, here's the other thing is, I love this concept. When you follow God, God is abundance. God has everything we could ever need. He is everything. Therefore, you can say, I have all I need and all I will ever want. I have that, I have, I walk in abundance. There's an affirmation that is gonna ring true in your life if you hold on to that. I walk in abundance. I have all I need and all I will ever want. Now, another really helpful reframe for me to help me break from comparison is that, especially as a believer, we are all one body. My gifts, though I may be Oh, wishing I had somebody else's gifts or their their wit or their humor or their looks that um, that God gave them that and God gave me certain things and together we create a body. We are all one body. We work together. There's no this this you have something better or than than I do. We all have something good and important to give to the world and we need to show up for it. 
You need to show up for it. And then reminder, another reason you don't need to compare is because you are uniquely created, a masterpiece created to do good work. Instead of worrying about what your lighthouse looks like, it's time to just be a lighthouse and shine light. Okay, I wanna to talk to you just for a minute, share a couple ways you can start literally just breaking the cycle of compare and despair. One, I want you to commit to taking your thoughts captive. I already mentioned that. We have a YouTube video on that. I'll link it in the comments below. It's one I've already done on, on how to take your thoughts captive in a very physical way. For years, I struggled with how to do that. And I've got a practice I wanna share with you that will be really effective. Another thing is to prioritize. Guys, I really cannot underestimate the power of journaling, of prioritizing your journaling and framing it as a spiritual practice. That is where you can look at your thoughts. And, when, and where does comparison happen? It happens in our thoughts. If we want to stop comparing, if we don't, it's not a strong arm, willpower thing. It starts in saying, I'm gonna be powerful at thinking. I'm gonna pay attention to my thoughts. Another thing is to get in the word of God. Get in the word of God every day and let it speak life over yourself. Another thing I've done that's been really, really life-giving in this area for me, helping me break patterns of super comparison. Y'all, I was stuck in comparison and I still am. It's something I need to brush from my mind every day. In the same way I brush my teeth, I brush my mind and I brush my thoughts. And they keep sneaking back in and then I brush them back out and escort them out. But is for me, so on a daily basis, I submit in my prayer, in my journaling, my conversations with God, I submit my comparison to him. I submit my jealous thoughts to God and just, I pray for a pure heart. I pray for clear thinking. I pray that I just focus on my path. And I love that because then it releases God. God, God we will show up. He does show up. He is faithful. So invite him in. Build up, another way to break comparative thoughts is to build others up, celebrate them generously. And the more you celebrate others, it will boomerang back to you. Speak your, speak, soak your life in praise and gratitude. I, I, the more praise and gratitude you have, the more powerful you, your life will feel and the more powerful you can think and not get distracted by comparing yourself because you're so joyful, you're so filled with life and abundance on the path that you are on. The prayers are essential, but praise paves the way. I'm gonna say that again, prayers are essential, but praise paves the way. So I want you to do this, I want you to know who you are and what you want. If you know who you are and you know what you want, you will shut out comparison every single time. When you don't know who you are and you don't know what you want, then it's easy to get stuck in the spiral. So I want you to comment below if you're ready to say, I'm done with compare and despair. I'm done with compare and despair. And we've got two videos I think it will be helpful. I'll link them below. It's my affirmations, um, my biblical affirmations to help you think more powerfully that will help you manage your thoughts and help you learn to not um, get stuck in the spiral of, of, oh, I can't help it, I compare. Because you can, because we have the power in our minds. And then of course, our Take Thoughts Captive video. So you can check those out in the links below. Thank you for hanging out with me here on this video. And I'll see you on our next video ready to be done. I'm ready for you to be free from comparing because it leads to despair and it devastates your confidence. You, are, you were created to do good work, to shine a bright light and to connect with others. And the world needs you to be you, not a watered down version of you, not a replication of a poor replication of somebody else, just you fully alive you. And I'll be cheering you on every step of the way. Make sure you hit the subscribe and let me know what you thought of this video below.